Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54. First round match, we've got two great coaches with for you. Dion Lord with Amazons, who have a Wizard and a Mercenary Blitzer with Guard. And a large Thud, who has an only an 11-man Prowl team, though it's got some very nice elves. Uh, three Guards, a Mighty Blow, and a Tackler, and a Strength 4 uh, Blitzer. Really nice teams. Uh, well, not really nice teams, quite nice teams. Quite not that unevenly matched, I would say. But uh, interesting. And in the booth with me is Daedalquist. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. And we uh, we could very well see some. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say we could very well see a lot of open space in the second half. <laughs> and that rock certainly helps out. <laughs> oh, but yeah, there's heat as well, right? There's there's very little bench on both sides. There are AB7. There is Mighty Blow and DP on both sides. Uh, and or DP on both sides, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the rock isn't great for either of them. At least Thud is happy that he sort of won that with just the stun. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, thanks a lot. Hello, and see. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I mean that's not it. <laughs> this is the part of the game where I started laughing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no spoilers, though. No AV bricks either. Yeah, that's, that's probably a reason he's laughing right now. <laughs> mm, yeah. He's, uh, he's uh, pretty pretty happy at this point, I'd say. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, not going to blitz. I like this. I like, well, okay, so blitz, blitz not there. But you know what I mean? Like, not going forward to blitz. I like this. Get a bit of yeah. action. Yeah, because like uh, the pros uh, do have some surprisingly fast players, and uh, well, he had no one back home to receive the kick anymore. Um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. The uh, move bus Lino taking a hit from the blow and uh, survives. Nice, insane, outrageous. Mm, I may not have been sober. Oh, glorious! We're getting the excuses in early. <laughs> 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 Smart. <laughs> Playing the Demi card. That's always a good one. <laughs> oh. oh, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, probably not sober, this one. <laughs> no, no, it, no. That's it. Obvious, obvious drunken move there. We'll have to yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Interesting. Both sides with a mighty blow tackler, so both can make a bunch of removals and then. You know, only one reserve for the Zons and no reserves for the Pro Elves. The Pro Elves would have definitely, definitely lost to those Norse earlier. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> me. You've got to make the pick up with this tackle. Right? And that's pretty decent because if they get based by like a Blood Stepper or whatever, at least they've got tackle like punch their way out. Yeah. So it's, yep. it's okay to get it on this one because this one's making efficient fixes anyway. Mm. Well, you say that, uh, they have to pick the ball up to have it on him. Very nice, Jeff. Very uh, nice, Jeff. Yeah. More or less. I, I wouldn't have hated moving these three back a bit, right? These three could have just gone gone back to yeah. like here, and then they're all a bit more connected. At the moment, we could blitz this one and intersect. Yeah. Or blitz this one and come round a bit, so I, I wouldn't have minded moving these three back a little bit. Oh, well, I agree. Yeah, I've seen more terrible plays. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't terrible, it was just... My preference, really, I mean, this controls the two people on the LOS, right? So, like, just something. We've already seen that double ones can happen. Yep. Is this a Dakar? I, I don't think you can Dakar against Pros, right? The, the AV7 is just too juicy. Like, the ability to hurt elves <laughs> just can't be passed up on, basically, right? Like, they're armor 7, like, you have to try and punch them. Unless there's a really good reason for your deck, like you want to do six passes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is not your main priority, or should not be your main priority in Chalice. We've seen coaches in Chalice have that's their main priority to level up their players. I agree. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it really should be qualification or uh, progression. Uh, yeah. Win the damn match is number one. Even if it's an easy match, you like you know, you still Yeah, there are no proper easy games is what we've seen this chalice. Oh I dunno, it's pretty easy playing like uh, four game old 
goblins, isn't it? That's about as easy as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as long as you draw a cock, right? Who <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want to draw a cock? <laughs> <laughs> From what I can tell in the... Uh... In school, everyone loved drawing, drawing cocks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not just at school. I did it Royal Mail. It was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was funny that I was like my best friend was the cleaner, right? And uh, and I was skiving, and she she like came in to clean the room I was skiving in. So we just we just sat down and like had a chat for like half an hour and stuff. And I think I had a pen and I drew I drew a cock on the wall. And it's like so we just drawing cocks on the wall <laughs> and then uh, and then like a boss like was like was like all gravely said oh my god i'm so sorry that to ask you to do this but you won't believe what they've done they've, <laughs> they've drawn all these penises on the wall so she had, she had then go and wash wash off the cocks that she had drawn <laughs> Challenge these guys. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Well, this is, uh, you know, pretty bland, isn't it? I mean, it's Amazon's. <laughs> it's, it's incredibly boring. Um, you think it's going to be more exciting than dwarves, but it's not. It's the same. <laughs> Yeah, it is the same as dwarves. I mean, at, at, le at least dwarves are honest about it, but sounds like they pretend that they have agency, but they don't. They will never win Chalice Nomad skills. Not even this one, right? Not even this Chalice, Zons will not win. Yeah. Uh, as amazing as Nolly's team is, <laughs> Zons will never win Chalice. Well, they might win it. Like, I mean, Chalice isn't going to be Chalice anymore after this, right? They might win uh, the CCL. A, there is a, a Chalice, but yeah. They, they might win the CCL playoffs after this, but, you know, no one's... Oh, is that what you're going to call it now? Yeah, it's not going to be Chalice anymore after this. They will, they will never win it. Like, you know, because it could go on, right, forever, right? Until it's literally only Nolly, Nolly playing and, like, you know, maybe Nolly and Yak, right? <laughs> and then they just have a playoff every season. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, eventually Amazons would win that, right? But they'll never win a competitive Chalice. I mean, this is the last competitive challenge. Yeah, exactly. That much we can say. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it's a bit, bit cagey from the, uh, bit cagey. It's, from it's the not team. officially dead. Uh, there is a, a playoff for this season. It's been reduced again to 32 teams to make it more competitive um, because there's a reduced amount of coaches, um, as we've seen some. Or most of the streamers have moved on to fumble uh, for now. Uh, but Andy Davos playing, uh, see, it, Miss Bob Tree has been playing, Nolly's been playing, and uh, Kisa Bix, and I've seen Mongloom on today, and Mongloom we showed earlier uh, here on stream today. He uh, He's obviously a solid coach. So, so yeah, it's not, it's not dead dead, but it is... Uh, he's on life support. Yeah, it's pretty dead. Well, Mad Skills, it depends. It depends what your problems are with the game, right? If you're like Artemis, it's going to fix problems. If you're like me, it's not going to fix problems. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's, it's a real hard task for them, right? Because the game is so bad. It's a shame. Yeah, not dead, 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 but it's, it's pretty flipping dead. It's just dead. It's not dead, dead, dead. <laughs> 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 the problem here is how do you get penetration right like he's he's played pretty casually uh deal more like, hasn't. hasn't like hasn't forced open the uh pro elves has he so and and zons are pretty slow that they are jim he's, he's got no burst has he you know like like lizard men don't need a lot of penetration because they only need to get two squares in but, um, you know, Zons need to get quite deep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do, though, right? Zons require deep penetration because they, they've only, <laughs> they're only movement six. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Anili, anili kali. Yeah, too bad. Too bad you're joined in the booth by a five-year-old today. <laughs> To make it so hard, it's <laughs> <There's> a... <laughs> understandable, uh, Dodd, um, and excusable. Hmm. Leaving this, leaving this one free here, so you know at least gonna have the handoff threat in, in the end. Yeah. Might be all they have. He's got to go up here, right? Loads of GFIs, I guess. Wrestle can hit this one. Okay, Tackle's gonna hit this one. And then GFI? One, two. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> they can't whoa. Have a G the other they could have GFI'd again. They could have GFI'd the sideline. Flip me. I think they should have done. Let's well, It's not what I would have done. I mean, this is a pretty easy 2D on the ball, isn't it? With Mighty Blow Tackle. This, this guy could just been here, right? Like, it's so much harder, or here, or here. Maybe he's not back, but one of these two squares is where the block tackle should have been. I'm not using the mic well, keeping the movement for recovery. Fair enough. Yeah. Or a scoring threat, even. The scoring threat for... Oh my god. So half a chance for the zones here, actually. Better than I thought it'd be for them. I've seen worse. Mm. No, I don't understand why you don't bring this one in. Because could have done this blitz and then assisted, right? Whoa. Could have done that blitz and then assisted that block. And then that then the edge falls there. That was really weird. You just miss ordering from uh Dion Lord. I should have done this dodge first. See uh pretty sure. Yeah. Because there was an intercept chance, wasn't there? Yeah, exactly. And it was going to be a four plus pass, four plus catch. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, no, it was quite fair. But, mm, but it probably comes out pretty similar to be fair. Maybe that was slightly fair. Yeah. Oh, God. Outrageous. Outrageous. And there's the counter score. Absolutely disgusting. Flip flipping me. Elfs. Well, disgusting elves. A little bit uh, broader on himself, right? Uh, yeah, it's like. Well, I mean, that was it. He didn't, he didn't make the penetration. He was forced into kind of a desperate yep. move to score, and then obviously, ball ends up on the floor, and then elves give it up. Like, you know, a good player from a large stud to give himself the outlet of the catcher. Mm. Yeah, I mean, obviously it helps get it up uh, with this amount of penetration. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two zones out with the heat, no elves out with the heat. That's pretty yeah, lucky. Welcome, I thought of that one movement. myself. Yeah, well done. Thank you. <laughs> it's turning into a bit of a dicing. A little bit. Only a, like, only a tiny bit. Yeah. 
not a comedy mega. Or an insanity dice. No, just a little bit. Hurt. Two guards, like two guards, two blodge guarders going out to nothing. It's pretty lucky. I mean, he didn't do that to himself, did he? <laughs> <I'd still laughs> but yeah, he could have. He could, it, like, it was up to him to create more penetration earlier, right? I know, it's, I know we can all chuckle about it, but uh, that's what he should have. Uh, yeah, insanity dicing is uh, is more than common in Mega. <laughs> yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah. Insanity dicing is the worst. That's when Artemis wins, but one of his players fails to dodge it somehow. Very much, yep. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, it's horrific. Absolutely horrific. Slurs dialer. Oh wow, so we've come with a we've come with a very rowdy wizard. I uh, wasn't anticipating this whatsoever. But gets uh, gets two removals, but it's just not generating pressure, is it? That's the problem, like. <laughs> you know, if these two were stood up at the start of the turn. Then it's. St I still don't really like it that much, but like, they're not, and you're down players, and it's just not doing anything. But I mean, I guess you're 1 0 down, so maybe you just hope, but like, you needed like 3 to go down. Didn't you? you 2 wasn't enough. In fact, you not even. You needed 4. You needed these 3. Wow, that was really brutal. Just needed too much. I think wasteful wizard is is maybe too is maybe too harsh, right? Because he hasn't got much chance. So, like, if there's no guarantee he gets the chance to use a good wizard. But this does seem like to not generate any pressure. Like that, like this was an attrition wizard, right? That 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 this is an attrition wizard. I don't mind like kind of positional wizards in terms of, you know, you've got a bunch of strength four and you're going to try and lock them down. And, you know, you, you're wizarding for, like, knockdowns, basically, and, like, and to, to, like, stuff the drive a little bit. But, like, this wizard isn't really doing anything except hoping no. for removals yeah. or three specific knockdowns, which seems... Yeah, that's way, way too much. But, you, you know, maybe he was, that's how far behind he was, right? He's 1-0 down. Could he's, be on his own drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's one nil down. He's got ten bloody Amazons left. It's like it's horrible for him. But now, obviously, the wizard here would have been a million times better. But obviously, wouldn't have done this if there was a wizard. Yeah. But yeah. But you know, like he couldn't have done this if there was a wizard. So exactly. Like I, that's uh, you've uh, you've sort of like a little bit swung over to the uh, Rick camp, right? An early wizard has a lot of value, and I've, uh, I'm still firmly placed in the. Uh, the wizard, the threat of the wizard forces uh, forces you to not play certain ways. Um, uh, that protects the ball a lot. Uh, so yeah, both camps obviously are married. Yeah, has with much of blood ball. Um, it's not. And with all no... blood ball, my opinion is correct. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's true. Obviously, everything's got pros and cons, and uh, and you know this might have been the right wizard. Yeah, it did remove two elves, right? At the end of the day, that might, that that alone might be like it might not be as much value as he could have got out of it, but that could be enough to win. I just don't think it's going to be enough. Like it, the chance of it being good enough. To justify all the demand just seems really low. I didn't. I didn't even consider. It. No, I agree. <laughs> but then maybe you have to, right? Maybe you have to because look how bad it is. Like, do you know what I mean? That's the thing. You've got to realize how bad the situation is. Yeah. Um, and the situation. Yeah, I mean, that is the key, right? Um, for... Yeah. So many games, like, 
you realise too late how bad the situation is, which is one of the reasons why I see it's over, right, on stream. Because it's like realising, oh my god, there's a double one. It's realising that, you know, the shit has hit the fan, and if you don't do something, you know, it's it's slipping away. Like, it's slipping away, right? Like, basically. Mm, and you fun. have to know when it's slipping away, because if you don't react in time, you just, you you do lose, and then it is, then it is over. Um, yeah, yep. that was an amazing removal. Amazing play from uh, Dion Lord to get that removal. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Could have uh, could have actually served the DP. I think here, like, could have served both of these. Could have like blitz here and stuff and done things there. But, um, <laughs> that seems ludicrous when like you've got to try and defend the score. Yeah. So I like not even attempting this surf. Just you know, mighty blow in. But... And was right not to attempt the surf because wouldn't have got it anyway. And to be fair to DM Lord, like he's punched a fair bit with that mighty blow and it's done absolutely nothing. So. Yeah. Yep, and he's 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 you know he's he's yeah exactly and you've got it you've got to score yourself exactly this was a pretty good turn from Dion Lord and you know now the wizard's looking pretty decent right because the wizards helped him get to this spot by Taking two of a large thud's players away, so you know maybe that was a good wizard. It's just it just wasn't a, a natural situation to think of using it for me, and I didn't mm. particularly like it. But maybe it was a good. One. It's all about the equity. So they say. God, my common color commentary is awful right now. <laughs> <laughs> So, so they say. But <laughs> 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 well, this is pretty. Re, re, this is a nice turn from a large third, I think. Yeah, exactly, man. Skills. The other thing is really hard to say, like definitively, things are good or bad or wrong, right or wrong. Especially is like obviously how it, how the dice shake out. It's, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? Super interesting, you could say. I think a large thud might score here. Depending on how easy it is. Because this guy is just a 2 plus away, right? Get in the end zone. And it's getting tricky. So I think dodge these guys out, blitz there, and come through here and just score. Oh, rolled a one. Looks like we're not going to score now. <laughs> Ooh, cheeky remove. Yeah, honestly, the fact that this good guy could just go in the end zone would have made me think of just scoring. Because obviously, if you two would have basically won, right? I like winning 1 0. It's fun. Mm. I think that's why I've started enjoying the wars. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> 3 2. To finish this will be lovely. Ooh, goes a bit further in. Interesting. I think I preferred him, like, here or here. <laughs> Has. That poor journeyman got a damaged back. Plays one game of Blood Bowl. <laughs> Plays one game of Blood Bowl and he's got a bad back for the rest of his life. Poor bastard. Poor bastard. I know Zon's are definitely not going to be jealous. Uh, no, no don't be. Don't be the oh, just not. If K Fog can't do it, nobody can. Ooh. I gave one curtain because Amazons are shit. Yeah. I quite like this uh, this one making the dodge, to be honest. Like, make the dodge out of here. Dodge three. Yeah, there's a uh, good merit in that. Because mm, this has uh, done two one in sixes, right? And that could just be one in nine. Yeah. Without a team reroll. Hmm. Yeah, exactly, Razzle. Yeah. 
Unless it's like, you know, backflips. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big man. <laughs> <laughs> No, just doing the lob. Three plus. Surprised you didn't. That. Wasn't that a catcher back there? I couldn't have handed off to a, ca a different catcher and got further. And he's a bit spicy, a bit spicy, the 3 2. But yeah, I thought of that a couple of turns ago. I thought that was maybe he's the player. Um, I guess he couldn't get it. If he doesn't get the range band, it's not worth it, is it? So there you go, 2-0 um, up, not over, but close to, right? You'd expect Dilmo to score in two turns, maybe, but de definitely in three, but how's he going to score two? <laughs> like, it's not easy, is it? He hasn't got any loops. It's really hard to score two here. What's this Skanker Nancy? I remember Skunker Nancy, but I don't know Skanker Nancy. What? The team, the, the team name of the Amazons is Skanker Nancy. But it was Skunker Nancy. Okay. I'm not what it's referencing. No. I don't know. A large thud is easier to work out. With, uh, it is. Okay, and some of his some of his player names. <laughs> the famous Billy Idol song. To be little on Melamy. Rebel Yell is brilliant though. Shame it's a fucking shit thrower. <laughs> Throw's the best player. On any Literally outing. the worst. Uh, only two catches in one, but fair enough. I thought that was a catcher on the halfway line. But, uh, obviously it's wrong. Unless it gets you the range band, then it's not worth it. Anyway, is it? Oh, that's a good They all look the same to me. Honestly, the, the, are these? Yeah, these are catchers. Racist. And they're elves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I mean they're clearly different. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what I was thinking. Never mind. Four, what a great, what a great animation. So they yeah. score here and then hope to get a riot or a blitz. I'm pretty good getting into range. Okay. It's not in range now because it can't go past these, but it is in range. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, trust me, this is in range. <laughs> Don't know about trusting you, Jim. <laughs> trust me. Three D. Not with Mighty Bro. Okay, it doesn't need to. So go on with this Mighty Bro. Oh, yeah, it's on 30. This is good. This is good, correct. Absolutely correct bits, right? Getting to 31. Or 32. Nothing. Oh, and also the correct play of here in case the GFI. Uh, well, not the GFI. GFI fail wouldn't work, would it? Oh, no, it doesn't matter that one being there. I thought it was like a bubble box, but if you fall over, you can't catch it anyway, can you? So it can, uh... Right, there you go. Does the GFIs, gets in. Now we just need a riot or a blitz. And the Zons might win Chalice. <laughs> no, 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 they still won. But. <laughs> Riot and a blitz. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen in tabletop, couldn't it? What? 
Oh. Well, just be, by people being idiots. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, move your right. Like, literally, somebody could move the turn back from the right and then, like, just go off and have a snack and then come back and then be like, all right, and then, oh, I've got a blitz. Like, it, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it's happened in, like, in a tournament <laughs> even, right? Fair. That is actually quite fair. I played, I played, I played a guy who, like, your first action did his blitz. And then, like, took you know about eight minutes for his turn, and then try to do another blitz later. <laughs> and I'm I'm sure people try to do that all the time. And you know, again, not necessarily cheating, right? Just uh, just that tabletop, so like people can make mistakes, and a computer can't keep them right. Okay, so there you go. A large thud has one. <coughs> Yeah, exactly right. It doesn't make you a cheater, does it? That nah, it's just it's just unfortunate. It's, but but people will do it on purpose as well. That's the problem, right? That's the problem. Like PCs going 10, 10 TV over, right? It's just an unfortunate mistake. But people will definitely go over on purpose and try and get away with it, right? It's try and squeeze certain, something. Certain in. Honest mistake, like. Yeah, but, but that that's the most annoying thing that a lot of things can be, you know, honest mistakes. And and are not even can be are a lot of things are honest mistakes, but then so it just makes it that much harder to like catch the disgusting, horrible, scumbag cheaters. I get it. tell us what you really feel, Joe. <laughs> I'm not a fan of <laughs> cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> I really hit. Like, this is the funniest thing, right? You know that in that in that fumble thread where they said I'm actively bad for the hobby. It's funny because like, and saying I would like deliberately withhold the rules uh, to to gotcha players. Like, it, it's funny because it's what I never do, right? Despite me being like, you know, the most competitive when it comes to like games and stuff, and like reading the rules and like doing the most abusive things that I can in general. Like, I'm still just doing what's in the rules right like i would never yeah. ever go beyond the rules and i kind of hate people who do go beyond the rules and even just don't play in the spirit of it you know like uh, if it's something ludicrous that you could interpret some way then you just shouldn't because it's fucking stupid right like i kind of hate that but never mind um that's enough of me commiserations to diom lord all the dios are in this in this tournament weren't they diom lord diomed and dionysian uh and two of them are out now, <laughs> uh, but Diomed, glorious, uh, uh, yeah, Diomed, yeah, Diomed, wait, yeah, Diomed. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting confused. Diomed did the glorious thing in in beating Azawin, so that was brilliant. And uh, yeah, congratulations to a large thud who has also got through the first round. Zons will never win Chalice, it's true. Thank you very much, Daedalquist. Glorious having you in the booth. Thank you. Um... Again, I I can't thank you enough uh, oh. for having me. Oh, um, wonderful! What would I do without you? Oh, baby! <laughs> Once again, and thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.